welcome back to my channel so today is a little bit of a haul video for you guys i know i keep posting haul videos and there are so many hauls on my channel and i know a lot of you just watch my channel for the makeup looks i promise you i'm going to come at you with some more makeup looks but for now i've been shopping quite a bit and i probably shouldn't be because i'm going overseas in december so i should be saving all my money but when there's affordable products out there, they just need to be bought and need to be spoken about. Obviously. So by the title, you can tell that I went to Mimso, which is actually a Japanese store that's kind of new to South Africa. They opened their first store in Mainland and they've now opened like more stores subsequent to that. So I went to the Mimso store in Cresta and I thought that I would share what I purchased with you guys. It's a really, really, really affordable brand from Japan. Um, there's a whole lot of different like Japanese products. I went into the store probably when they first opened in mainland about I want to say like six to eight months ago and I kind of walked through the store and I didn't really see anything that I had to have or had to get my hands on there were a few cute things but nothing that was like over the moon majorly exciting to me so I just didn't buy anything and I didn't really know what the fuss was about and then I went back in about I want to say like two months ago no no not two months ago about a month ago and I saw all their like new stuff that they just launched and it is literally so amazing your money goes so far in the store so I'm not only just going to show you a haul of everything I purchased I'm just going to go through the slip as well and tell you guys how much everything costs because honestly it was such a bargain also it's one of those stores where you like buy one get one free and buy three get one free or buy three for x amount so that is a really exciting thing those kind of deals always get me story of my life story of a shopaholic that is just it just grabs me every single time so i'm super 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 excited about what i've picked up and yeah if you're keen to see what's in this massive bag then just keep on watching can we just first talk about disposables if you're a makeup artist or you've ever been to a makeup artist to have your makeup done, I want you guys to know how many cotton pads, earbuds, and wipes we go through on a daily and weekly basis. I probably go through one of those massive packs of wipes every week. Um, and then also cotton pads. I always keep like a massive amount of stock in my office in my studio because I've got them in like every makeup bag that I have and every job requires makeup wipes and it always requires little cotton pads and cotton based things. So Mimso does these cotton pads in bulk which is super super amazing they are again super affordable so the first little one that package i picked up were these so they are fabric cosmetic pads so originally i thought they would be like normal cotton pads but they're actually not it's almost like i want to say like a lint free wipe um it's quite a big wipe as well but i just think that if you apply um like if you apply makeup remover to this and then use it in every area of your model's face or your own face for example like if you put your toner on there um it works really well so they're super absorbent um it's almost as absorbent as a like normal cotton pad so they have these packets in bulk um there are 160 of those little pads in here and this little guy retails at 29 rand 90 which i think is an absolute bargain i've spent 40 rand before 40 rand on cotton oil before so this was an absolute bargain i should have actually bought two but i wasn't really sure like if i would like the quality of them but i think that this is a standard product in all of their stores i'm hoping it is and i do plan to go past and pick up some more because i just think it's a great thing to have in my studio and in my kits moving on to more disposables these are actual cotton pads it's like a box of cotton pads like this and they do have a little bit more density to them but they're square so i quite like the fact that they're square because they are a little bit bigger than the normal standard like cotton pads this is what the box looks like i actually mainly picked it up for the box because i think that it's super convenient to just have everything in its own little box but i'm going to show you guys what they look like so this is what one pad 
looks like and it's quite a thick pad as well so i think that it would be super absorbent it is quite similar to the other um little wipes that i picked up but these do have a little bit more density to them and i promise you i did i was a sucker like i bought it for the box because i think that the box is super cool and they're really nicely packaged in the box as well and yeah this was also an amazing deal i actually bought the two because i wanted to try and see which one was better for me so the next time i go there i know which one that i need to purchase because they are um I think they are both really good prices so this whole box of cotton pad things it says 75 plus 400 sheets so i'm assuming it's 475 sheets but it doesn't look like there's that many sheets in here so that's a little bit confusing i don't actually know how many are in here but there is a lot definitely more than your standard like cotton wool pad tubes those round tube things so for this guy i paid 29.90 again it was the same price as the other one so i think that's why i bought both because i wanted to just compare them but seriously 29.90 for a box full of these cotton pads i think i've got like drawers next to my makeup storage unit so this is going to be perfect to just slot in there and open up and use just out of the box also if i'm working on set it's nice to just keep this next to like my makeup station so if models need to grab a wipe or just grab something to remove their makeup with it's super convenient super easy and super 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 affordable when i got to the counter i was like are you sure that is 29 or 90 please go check and it really was so I was so, so, so excited about that. Yes, I know you're probably watching this video and you're like, I was so keen to find out what makeup she bought and she just bought cotton wool. But I promise you, I do have some makeup products in this bag. So the first little cosmetic related thing that I got were some face masks. So I've heard so much about Korean beauty and if you want, read blogs or if you even watch YouTube, people are all making videos about how amazing Korean skincare is and Korean beauty products are. So I thought I would pick up a few masks. So these masks, again, were super affordable, but I picked up the Chamomile Refreshing Mask and then the Yogurt Mini Mask, which is pomegranate scented, flavored, whatever, and then a Volcanic Mud Mask, um, which is just... Yeah, it just looks like this so these are all like single use masks which i think is really cool because i often find that if i don't like a mask i've bought like the whole tube or i've got like a packet i hate those packet sachet things so the fact that it's in a little tub i think is really cool it does look like there's quite a lot of product in here probably more than one face so you might get like two uses out of it but as i say i've never used them i don't know um so these three guys were three for, you guessed it, 29 Rand 90. What I meant so, to say was so exciting and so, so affordable. So if you are wanting to dabble in Korean skincare, I think 39 Rand, or 29 Rand rather, is not a lot of money to part with. So I'm definitely gonna try those out probably realistically on an insta story so you guys need to be following me on instagram and i will let you know how these three go i am a little bit skeptical i won't lie like 39 rand for three face masks i don't know if they're gonna work i don't know if they're gonna be amazing i don't know if they're gonna burn my face off but follow me and i will let you guys know my honest opinion on those products what else did i purchase in this little bag so this was a little bit of a weird um moment purchase for me and it was like a with purchase you get for x amount so i was kind of roped in and i just bought them so they are nail polishers so now if you follow me on instagram again i always have acrylic nails done i always have my nails done thanks nikki um but I did pick up nail polishes so i thought on those kind of days where my nails are a little bit grown out or if i do clear acrylic then i just pop nail polish on top so i picked up these two a lot of my followers also ask me to talk about nail polishes and my favorite nail polishes brands so i thought i would try these out and just see how they work so it is just these two i absolutely love the packaging of these i think even if i just use them to create like visuals for social media um they would be amazing so i picked up they don't actually have um shade names or that just says nail polish red but it's actually like deep maroon and then nail polish pink but it is a very beautiful like nudie shade and then a very um bold shade so i think these are just 
great it looks like the consistency is really nice but again i ain't no nail guru i don't even paint my own nails so i wouldn't really know but just these sitting on my vanity look super cute so definitely gonna try these out so i paid so basically how it worked with these nail polishes is if you bought anything else in the store you get two for 29 rand 99 30 rand so again that's a mass massive bargain and i did think to myself in the store you know what even if i just buy these and keep them on my vanity because they look super cute it's totally worth 30 rand so two for 30 rand with any other purchase they did have a whole lot of other colors i wouldn't say it's like an extensive fc level collection of colors they were probably like 10 or 12 colors available but these were the two that i thought i would actually use the most if i if i do decide to use them makeup i am sometimes a little bit funny about buying really really affordable makeup i worry about what it's going to do to my skin i worry about if it's going to make me react um i often don't put these products into my kit i just use them on myself so i do sometimes feel a little bit skeptical on what i'm buying but i thought you know what let me just give it a try i might actually be pleasantly surprised a lot of affordable brands are really good so this might be one of those brands and i didn't want to pass up the opportunity to find a brand that really did work so the first thing i picked up was a hydro makeup base again i have no idea what this is going to be like um i don't even know if it's gonna work but it's kind of a primer um a priming product so i'm just gonna open it up it is like a white um kind of consistency like a very lightweight cream and then it's got like quite a lot of like a pink sheen in it it almost looks like a mac strobe cream which i thought was very interesting because i've never really seen like low-end strobe kind of looking cream products and it smells really nice it's got that like baby powder smell to it a lot of chinese based products i find do have that like scent to them so i'm quite keen to try this um it's got like a very satiny feeling it's not tacky i hate a primer that's super super tacky that almost makes my face feel really really sticky this has like a very soft texture to it so i'm glad that i picked that up and i'm keen to see how much how that works and how it works so this was a little bit more pricey it wasn't 29 rand 99 it was i'm lying it was 29 rand 90 as well i don't know why i thought it was more but it was 29 rand 90. i think again that's why i picked up so many products because they are so affordable and i thought if they don't work i can just get rid of them or donate them or give them to somebody or throw them away so, so the next guy i picked up is called a beauty stick which is a moisturizing and non-irritating formula concealer so again i probably would never pick up a concealer from a store like this but i did test it out and i put it on the back of my hand and it looked really really nice so that is the top of it and then you just like kind of turn the back and then a whole lot of concealer comes out and i think to like dot this underneath the eyes just for a very basic natural look um it is a very natural formula so i thought I would try that out and maybe add it to just like my everyday makeup routine i do wear makeup to gym as well so i'm often looking for like really lightweight products that aren't going to clog my skin so hopefully that does that for me um but it is product was you guessed it 29 rand 90 i swear literally everywhere in the store is just like 29 rand 90 signs so everything is 30 rand so if you go in there with 90 rand you can get yourselves like three amazing products so i was excited about that and a concealer for 29 rand 90 wherever have you seen that so i did find a few of their products almost copying like the names of i'm not going to mention the brands but more renowned brands names for certain things so for example you guys all know the brand i'm referencing now i picked up a lipstick and it is called a color stay lipstick it is like a crayon type looking lipstick i don't generally love these but it does have a very like glossy texture to it um, and i think that just throwing one of these in your bag is a really nice idea and it does have a little bit of a fruity scent to it so that's quite nice and i'm always looking for 
like just really easy balmy type lipsticks that I can throw into my handbag, into my work bag, into my laptop bag. I just love to have a good variety of little lipsticks everywhere. Again, 39 Rand 99. I sound like the 39 Rand 99 advert today, but that is what that costs. And they were about six colors. Um, they are all on the warm side of the color range. So this is the shade 01 Rose. Um, there was like a very light peach color, um, a nude color. There were a few different options, but I thought going into spring, summer, this would be a nice kind of color to just break the mold slightly so i picked that one up and i'm keen to try that um i have seen a few bloggers speaking about the lipstick before and they said that they were happy with it so i think for the price even if it's just like an entry level lipstick it might be nice to just have as a backup or another option in my makeup so bag. when i went in these were marked at 20 rand so 19 rand 99 but now i'm looking at my slip and it said that they charged me one rand but i don't understand because I bought two so I don't really know how that works so I did buy a liner so it is a liquid liner and again I've heard a lot about like Korean makeup and Korean like liquid liner type products and they all seem to be really amazing so I as I mentioned before I did buy two of these liners one for my mom and she opened it up and it was completely dry like nothing came out of the liner so I've just opened this one for you guys and it does seem to be working um it looks really nice it's a really like smooth fault tip pen um, again I go through liquid liner pens like nobody's business so I thought if I could pick up one that was really affordable and worked it would be a nice thing to share on my blog with you guys sometimes I do talk about products that are maybe a little bit more high-end and pricey so I want to try and branch out onto the more affordable side of life and try something that kind of everyone can afford so yeah I'm not sure on the exact price of this it says one rand on my slip but I would have bought 25 if it was one rand so i don't think i think that there might be an error somewhere um somewhere or other but i think that that line is super cool and of course it's gold i will try out this liquid liner on my instagram story so again follow me and you can like see the update and what i thought about that liner so the last thing i picked up that i paid for keyword there being paid for and you guys will see why is some loose setting powder so i actually need loose setting powder for my own makeup so i thought this would be a nice one to try and if it works on myself then i'll purchase another one for my kit but setting powders guys Please don't let anybody fool you. Setting powders are pretty standard across all brands. Like, I don't care if you're buying like the most expensive hourglass setting powder or a MAC setting powder or a really cheap ass NYX setting powder. They all work pretty much the same way. So I wasn't so skeptical about purchasing this. So this setting powder was actually 49 Rand 90. So it was a little bit more expensive. So I branched out, okay? I spent 50 Rand on this guy. So it comes with a little powder puff thing and then obviously just like that standard grid situation and you can just take out powder and set it and set concealers and highlighters and whatever you want to set. Um, so again, I'm gonna try that on my Instagram stories and see if it all works. I got it in the shade 01 Ivory. There were two shades. Um, the second shade looked quite yellow, so I thought this was probably more standard and would be more translucent. I don't actually know if it is translucent, but I can't imagine it having that much coverage. doesn't look like it. The one thing I will say about Miniso, Mimso, however you guys want to say it, is that there aren't testers. So there's not a lot of testers available. Um, there are some testers for lipsticks, but I saw that they were really gross, so I didn't even go there. I did swatch a few on my hand, like... I was swatched the eyeliner on my hand um, and I was able to swatch just one or two things on my hand but things like the powders and they have a whole lot of foundations those don't have testers I wasn't about to try a foundation from them but if I like all the other products I might branch out and try one of their BB creams or foundations and tell you guys if it's worth it you never know I've been um, surprised by a whole lot less so We'll see how that goes. So once everything was rung up, the guy said that it was 520 Rand and I was kind of like, okay, I was expecting to spend like 400 because everything was 30 Rand. How did it get to 500 Rand? I was like, oh, well, that's obviously like the stuff that I've purchased and I want to share it with you guys, so I'll pay it. And then he said, okay, and you get three free gifts for spending so much money. So I was like, okay. That's so amazing. So the first thing was a fabric refreshing spray in the in the scent cotton. I have smelt it 
and it does smell really nice it smells a little bit chemically but i think that it could work quite well for your um like linens and stuff like that just after you've washed them i would have never have bought this myself but because it was a free gift i was like give it to me put it in that basket put it in that little baggie and then i got to choose between two other free gifts as well well it was actually four gifts and you could choose two so i picked up another lipstick so this is in the shade 05 garnet um have no idea what this lipstick even looks like i haven't even opened it but i think it is oh it's also like another one of those crayon situations it's actually a very similar color okay it's literally the same color oh well i hope it works again free gift so i might be doing a little giveaway of my free gifts i don't know or i might give it to a client or something like that if it's nice i might give it away and then i got to choose another hydro makeup base so they had a special running at that time that if you bought one hydro base you got another one for free which i had no idea about so i hopefully it works really well i hope it works really well because then i can obviously use both or use one of my kits and one of myself um but i do believe this is going to be nice again it does still feel quite nice on my skin so i'm actually going to try it out tomorrow and it does say that it enhances your skin's resistance resistance for what like i don't know what that means protect your skin possibly i don't know Japanese things I, I don't know so then he says to me he says okay that's gonna be 320 rand and I was like but it said 500 now I have three extra products like I didn't understand but basically how it works so everything goes through on like the full retail price and then right at the end when you're about to like go to the payment it takes off like all the deals you got for free all the buy twos for 39 rand 29 rand 49 rands all the different like discounted prices go through so the final amount that i paid was 320 rand and then it says your discounted price so the amount of money that i saved was 199 rand and 40 cents which i thought was amazing so i literally picked up all of this stuff for 320 rand which i think is amazing as i say there is a mimso in menden park there's a mimso in cresta and they've just opened one in the glen i don't know where the other stores are but i'm gonna leave their website down below and you can have a look at where you can buy their stuff but awesome like value for money um if you're looking at really cheap like gifts for people or you're looking at things to add to gifts i'm one of those people that like to add like a whole bunch of stuff into gifts so i'm definitely going to go back and stock up for december um and for christmas time i think that they're amazing stocking fillers as well so yeah that is everything i got from them so um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope that you can go there and save a quick buck but thank you so much for tuning into my video if you like this whole video or videos like this or just talking about like real raw deals with you guys please just hit that subscribe button and like this video so that i know you like it and i can keep making hauls but i promise you makeup looks are on their way because i've been lacking in that department i understand have a beautiful week further and i will see you guys all real soon